morning class how are you yes i am also fine so we are just here in this week to study about the electric current okay we are just dividing this chapter so some topics we'll discuss first of all we'll come with the definition of electricity what is electricity it is the motion of charge when the charge will move electricity will obviously produce so this is called electricity clear then what is what is the use where do we use these things so its use is that it is used in our, our everything in light bulb stereo also nowadays mobile phones are very essential in this pandemic situation so mobile phones are also getting charged because of this electric power only so these all things they what they do they work on the electricity and the basic power source is same movement of electron if i could establish the movement in the electrons obviously the current electricity will be produced only okay after that the main term that you need to discuss that is called electric potential what is potential means potential means the capacity to bring a charge to make a charge move so if the charge will move it will cover some distance so that is called electric potential means to say that it determines it is a factor actually which see the electric condition which determine the flow of charge from one conductor to another in contact and this is called electric potential so it is electric potential is actually the work done if it is not there charges will not move electric potential is not there charge will not move then the current electricity will not produce also this is the condition it is essentially required in a circuit okay electric potential then potential difference is that when the charge move from one point to another point okay with two points in electric circuit the work done is moving a unit positive charge is called electric potential difference okay so electric potential difference is basically the work done by the charge in moving charge from one point to another and that is here b is equal to w by q so this is the work done w is the work done due to the charge q there okay so this is what potential difference is there and this potential difference only creates movement in the circuit there okay now next is the electrical resistance what is resistance obviously it is the opposition it is the degree of opposition of current flow of current so that is very important term in this topic here so it opposes see, opposes the flow of current in electric circuit and it measured in ohms which is symbolized by this this symbol here okay the scientist who has given this resistance here one law also he has given regarding voltage current and resistance that also we will study in the next classes next slides there today just know only that this physicist has given the symbol ohm and he has work in this so resistance is called on his name only ohm the unit is ohm only what is then resistance so this is the formula of resistance here resistance is proportional to the length if i increase the length if this is r here if this is r here this is small r then obviously a small r is less than big r why because the length has increased so it depends on the increase of length it depends on the area also how resistance depends on area inversely okay inversely means to say if i have two wires one is like this and one is like this so obviously the second one has larger area so larger area so resistance will be low that resistance will be low here okay that is how resistance depends upon length and area and in that one more things is visible here and that is called this one this term is called resistivity it is the hint that is the inside that object on the double tip uh, that resistivity does not depends upon length neither it depends upon area clear it depends upon the nature of material only okay that one is specific resistance okay now 
these resistances are combined in two ways in the circuit but why they are combined what is the use there to combine them so that is the use use is that it is used in circuit to control the flow of current okay it is used mainly to control the flow of current there okay and what the type of combinations these are the type of combinations series and parallel series and parallel combination what is series combination what is parallel combination we are just going to see this okay now see here see this is series combination see the ends are connected back to back so this type of combination is called series combinations where the resistances are connected back to back only what is difference here? difference is that at every set there is different voltage for resistance r1 we have v1 for resistance r2 we have v2 for resistance r3 we have voltage v3 but all together they are just v on dc this all v1 plus v2 plus v3 is equal to voltage okay that is the main concept of series combination first thing that voltage is different second thing in all the branches current will be the same see in all the branches same current is flowing so these are the two main features of series combinations clear then what are the main some more features we need to discuss here first thing is that the equivalent series resistance in the above figure this is the equivalent series resistance r1 plus r2 plus r3 the second is that the equivalent resistance second one the equivalent resistance is equal to the sum of individual resistances here r1 plus r2 plus r3 are individual resistance but the equivalent is sum of all these three third is that the equivalent resistance is always greater than the largest of individual resistance okay so that is the main thing suppose that we have 1 ohm we have 1 ohm we have 2 ohm we have 7 ohm clear so the total is 10 ohm now 10 ohm is greater than the largest largest 7 ohm so 10 ohm is greater than 7 ohm so equivalent is always greater than the individual resistances okay the main concept of series combination now the parallel combination this is called the parallel combination here this way when the resistances are connected at the same end they are called see all are connected at the same end so this type of connection is called parallel combination and in this what is common voltage is common at every branch we have same voltage v v and v but current is different in each and every branch current is totally different there see i1 then i2 and then i3 is passing there okay so that's why we say the current is different in the parallel combination okay then some more thing we can find here where is that the this is the equivalent parallel resistance formula what is that it is saying that the reciprocal or equivalent resistance is equal to the sum of the reciprocal of individual resistance that means equivalent resistance in parallel is equal to reciprocal of all the resistances that are present there in this above figure there were this r1 r2 r3 so that reciprocals has have been added here and that will give me the parallel equivalent resistance second thing is that in that only third point that equivalent resistance is smaller than the smallest of individual resistance it's extremely true if equivalent resistance we have to calculate it will become the very smaller than the third one whichever is there so equivalent resistance are always smaller than the individual resistance in case of parallel combination what it does it increase the resistance the parallel combination just increase the resistance so in that case we have to put control 
and the circuits we use parallel combination one numerical i have made that i have tried to show with this figure only see one this thing this is figure and they are telling find the resistance between point b and c when point b and this is point b and this is point c here clear we have to find the equivalent resistance between point b and c this one we have to find you may say sir this is 5 ohm already given yes it is given but with this many more resistances have also come so when they all will act in the circuit then what is the total resistance between this point that we have to find only and one thing here you see me may be observing also this and this just now i have explained so they are in the series so 110 ohm is in c uh, parallel with this one this is also 10 ohm so this is also 10 ohm clear now these two are in parallel so their combined is now their combined parallel combination of this and this and this branch is that is equal to five ohm now the figure is like this that in place of 10 these all things are cancelled now these all things are cancelled but in this of place of 10 we have 5 now this 5 and this 9 are in series why because it is going through the same see it is going through the same terminal so when they are in parallel now the shape becomes like this only that here is one resistance here is second resistance this one is 5 ohm and this one is 5 ohm and this one is 9 plus 5 14 ohm okay so the total resistance it is written here see the calculation part here between b and c is the this is the total equivalent resistance between point b and c so in this class we have revised about the combination of resistance resistance electric potential work done charge and i hope you will revise this topic very nicely next class we learn something new till then all of you take care thank you class thank you very much